Yes, good afternoon. You are welcome to another edition of our online class. And today, we want to talk about this effing in electric fence. So many people, they do every of their job, electric fencing, without considering anything. And this is one concept that is so important in your electric fence. Everything helps to increase the, the, the shock of your fence. It makes your fence more efficient while in operation. Unlike your, your home uh, everything that helps to reduce shock, electric shock in the house. But this one for your fencing, it helps to increase the shock. Let's go further. Everything in electric fence is different from uh, everything we use in our homes. The one in your home help you to reduce shock, though that will also help reduce a uh, surge. But your fence for your electric fence, that can also reduce surge. It can help you safeguard your, your equipment, your energizer. But in the aspect of the shock, everything helps to increase the shock uh, tendency or the shock ability, the power of the fence. And what are those things you need to consider? when doing anything in electric fence. Number one, your earthing or your earth rod must be approximately uh, at a 10 10 feet, ideally, or 30 feet advisable from your house and thing. Because of our time, I may not need to talk much. I'll write, write all of this. I will just begin to outline them. What do I mean by this? When you put in your considering anything for electric fence, maybe for example, this is the this is your house, this is the house, okay. Now the earthing of this house was done here. It was earthed around here, and you've done electric fence around this perimeter of your house. Now it is ideal that before you place any earthing around this place, make sure. The minimum distance from here to any earth on this part of this house is 10 feet, but ideally 30 feet is better. 30 feet, 30 feet. So if this is your house setting, from here to any other setting that you want to put for your fence must be 10 to 30 feet. Or from here to any other place, 10 to 30 feet. Please take note of this. It is so, so important. More so, this is the number one. You need to consider this when doing your eating, when before you before putting eating on your face. Then another thing you need to consider is what is the distance between F1 to F2? Now take for example, if the perimeter, maybe the perimeter of my fence is standard. Perimeter of my fencing is, let's say this perimeter is 170 total. The perimeter for this is 170 meters. Please note that standard, the, the distance between one earthing to the other from point A, F number one to F two should be ideally 50 meters 50 meters your at one to at two ideally should be 50 meters for you to get a proper earthing on your fence so if we're having a perimeter like this it is understood that this kind of job i should be having earthing of about three rods minimum i can decide it's okay fine let's make it four four earth rods if it's one seventy meter that means if i'm having 150 meters that should be three rods if i have 
100 meters, then I should be having two rods. So this is what we might, by when we say, from one point of your earth into the other, it should be this, this standard. Also, what you need to also consider is, before placing the first earth rod, make sure the first earth rod from your energizer it's not more than 20 meters. Distance from the first earth rod to your energizer must not exceed this. That means it should be closer to the energizer. If possible, if you want to make it five meters, if you want to make it three meters, better. But it shouldn't be more than 20 meters. Take for example, this is the house. I have uh, here, okay, no. I have the energizer here. This is my energizer. And I want to add this. By the time I check here to here, am I, it might be the distance between here to here. If it's maybe, um, let's say 50 meters, it's more than. I see that this place is more than, and I want to come put earth here in the first case before. But because I see it's more than 50, I don't need to come here. I need to look for a closer place here, maybe from here to here. No? I measure, okay, and I get maybe 15 meters. 15 to somewhere closer to this place because the energizer is here. I need to use that. So I must not exceed this 20 meters. The first energizer to the, to, to the first uh, earth row to your energizer must not exceed 20 meters. So this at the end of the day helps increase the shock of your face, it makes your, your face very effective. And when these are connected, where are they terminated to? Like we did the last time, where we, where we did the drawing of how electric fence works with all the lines, you know. My marker may be faint. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Let's say live, 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 at, live, live, at, live. Understand that your every of your earthing, they are all coming to this very wire. The earth, the earth wire. Sorry, they are coming to this. This, they are coming to this earth on your face. So meeting those parts, all the earth or they've been dug to the to the ground, they are all coming to the face. On the face, start linking them. Maybe from point one. You bring that, okay, let's say this is the whole perimeter. I come, maybe there's one earth here. I come here, I dig the ground here. I bury my earth rod, connect it with my cable, and it's out. This cable comes here, I terminate it here. Yeah, this one can have a loop to this, to this other earth. Then the next, I, maybe I, I measure another 50 meters or less. I come here, I bury another one, I bring it, I connect here. Then I go further again, I get another 50 meter, I terminate here, and I bury it to the ground also. So these are the things you need to understand about everything. It is so important for your face. Like I mentioned earlier, it increases the shock ability of your face, makes your face more effective. Also, safeguard your energizer against a, a sword, thunder, rain, lightning, and all that. So, yeah, so some of us members, this which will be, majority will be online, but some will be here, few will be in a physical class for that training. I wanted to just brace yourself up, get set for that training, it's going to turn your life around. Is really going to profit you at the end of it all. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can share with friends and click on the notification button so that whenever our video is up, you'll be the first to be notified about it. To meet again in our next class, do have a nice day. Thanks.